Hey guys, welcome to week eight. That's right, week eight of the Pokemon Draft League. Uh, we are up against Master Quest. This is the battle we've all been waiting for. I'm super nervous. That being said, um, there's nothing to fear because we are already locked into playoffs. And I'm seeing Jack has brought his Clawitzer, which is awesome to see. Um, you know, uh, I have a strategy for this battle. I, I was thinking of like a bunch of different things I could do for this battle. I decided, you know what? Let's just rock with the team we have. If we lose, it's fine. We'll have make adjustments for next time. It's okay. We're locked into playoffs. Let's just jam. Let's just jam. So we'll know what to do next time. Or if I win, then I'll also know other stuff to do next time. Yes. Good luck and have fun. -eth. There we go. All right. So um, we have, yeah, we're just going to see how we do. So should be fun. I like this card. I say, let's just play Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Kelpo! There's Kelpo. See, got my Gengar lead down. Um, I'm going to taunt. Because I'm curious what he is planning on doing. Because if he wants to set up status stuff, um, he might be Assault Vest, so I might have just, like, screwed myself. I just took Psychic off. Like, I literally just took Psychic off of my Gengar, too. So, oof, if that's the case. Um, I'm hoping to get Drag Algae out of here quickly. Uh, we're a Sash Gengar. So, I mean, if that's going to get rid of Toxic Spikes, that'd be great. Shadow Ball. Oh, no! He gamed on me. He gamed on me hard. Um... All right, well, that is definitely a good turn for him, but we're just going to do this. Come get some. Come get some, I say. You have to attack. Come get some. All right, cool. So, and we disabled your Dragon Pulse. What do you think of that? Hmm? What do you think of that? It's a KO for both sides. Uh, dra uh, I need to make plays. I'll write all this stuff down another time. Who's it coming with next? Stonejourner, maybe? So you got Stonejourner, Clawitzer. Oh, Belly Bolt is f so free here, right? Belly Bolt's so free. I'm gonna go into Belly Bolt. Best thing you can do is Haxorus. Sammy. He's gonna get rocks up, which kind of sucks. Um, but I don't know. Worth in my opinion, I suppose. Chilling water. I'll lower his attack. Um, he's gonna get an earthquake off, but not the biggest deal. <clears throat> Especially because we're gonna lower his attack. Uh, is there anybody I can switch into that would like to take an earthquake? Peta. Peter would. Switching Peter. Peter would. Because I want to keep as much health on Belly Bolt as possible. Belly Bolt came in so clutch last battle, I want to keep as much health on Belly Bolt. Peter. The horse is here. Yeah, hit me with that big fat earthquake. See if I care. Eat it up. Eat it up, Peter. Eat it up. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be honest, I don't really remember the moves I put on Pita. Uh, I should get rocks up. That's rocks. Because he could switch here and try to preserve Stone Journey. So the rocks are pretty free. I'm assuming he's going to go into Corviknight because he assumes that I can't really do much to a Corviknight, which is where he's wrong. I can... I've got a, I've got a little fancy trick for that Corviknight. i got a little something something. And it's worth getting the rocks up because any stashes he has gets broken. Um, our Sash guy is already gone. The biggest this hits is Crocolore. Um, and Bax. Bax takes a lot of damage from rocks, but... Um, we'll see. Losing Gengar kinda sucked, but I... It de I determined that Iron... It wasn't gonna be able to deal with Iron Valiant anyways. So, um, just from how fast Iron Valiant is, for whatever reason, so... Heavy slam. 
does nothing. Sitting at plus two. Plus two defense. There's the rocks. Um, if he wants to hit me again, he can. Stone Journer's weirdly fast, which I'm not really sure why he is, but he is. Um, but we're gonna Earthquake. Stealth Rock again. Alright. Oh, you know what? He did that so he wouldn't give me another defense boost. That's funny. Alright, there goes Sammy. We'll see what he brings in. I got another leftovers boost. Haxorus isn't coming in. Uh, Clawitzer might come in. That's Clawitzer. Um, might be rocking Flash Cannon. I really want to keep Peta around. Do I really want to risk it this early? He might be expecting um, a Belly Bolt switch in. Let's try it. Let's try it. I've got a lot of um, special defense on this build, so I have special defense investment. Come on out, Ripple. Water Pulse should eat that pretty well. Not as well as I would have liked, but we did eat it for all intents and purposes. Um, I don't see any... It might be just be like Expert Belt or something like that. Um, I am speed invested. He's probably too though. I'll just Hyper Voice, see what happens. I'm out speed. Good damage, but not enough. Sludge Bomb! Don't poison. Maybe I should have Calm-Minded. Okay. Um, that's fine. Play your voice again. Switching's not good for him here. Unless he really wants to preserve Clawitzer for something specific. Um, which he might. I don't see uh, anything super particular. Losing Sylveon kind of sucks. I'm kind of running out of Iron Valley answers. Well, I still have Clotzer and I still have Belly Bolt. So, yeah. Uh, and I still have Mudsdale for um, Haxorus. Wah. That's going to take out that. Now, I'm wondering if he's going to switch in Haxorus here to try to get a Dragon Dance up. Because in which case, I have a meme to hit him with. Who's he down to at this point? It's just Valiant, Corviknight, and Haxorus, right? So we've dealt a good amount of damage. Belly Bolt kind of goes nuts at this point, right? Hack and Slash. I'm expecting him to Terra. I'm expecting him to try to go for a Dragon Dance to try to sweep. Um, I really don't see a reason to Terra with any of my other Pokemon at this point. So I'm actually going to pop my Terra now. And we're going to go for a Terra Blast Fire on him. If not, then like, whatever. I might just mean myself into just like dying. Oh, do I look that? Nope. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> that, it happens. It was a, it was a risky play, but like whatever. I didn't really, you know, didn't matter too much to me. I could have switched into Peta and done a lot. Froggers seems kind of good here, but I kind of want more damage on Haxorus. I could switch in Crocolore here and go for a Willow. Because I'm not seeing, besides just switching into Corviknight with him. How much more does Bax do? 
in this situation either. Yeah, I don't see how much more Bax really does. Besides like Ice Shard stuff, so what's Ice Shard stuff? We're winning with Belly Bolt. Um, now he could Terra here. And I would get meme done. So I'll Earthquake. Earthquake to be safe. Earthquake to be safe. If he switches into Corviknight, it's not, not a huge deal. We can switch into Crocodile or something. But we need to bring Belly Bolt as much health as it can to get through all this. He's probably cra uh, calcing how much Icicle Spear does if he Dragon Dances. And like Terra's and Dragon Dances. This, this has been the hyper offense he was promising. <laughs> I live! Alright, we just have to go for Ice Shard. No the real answer. Baxcalibur didn't really do much at this point anyways, so I'm fine. I'm fine with that. He's, he's not banded. He's probably scarfed. He might be scarfed into Iron Head. I think he is scarfed. In which case, I'm switching in Belly Bolt. If he kills Baxcalibur here, I'm switching in Belly Bolt. Because that's so free. Unless Ice Shard kills him. Which Ice Shard kills him, then it's dead. So. Oh. Oh, now you Terra. Oh, now you Terra. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Now you Terra. Now you Terra. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. If the Iron Heads is still scarred. That is nothing. It seems scarfed to me. All right, we go into Belly Bolt. We go into Belly Bolt and we risk it for the biscuit. I think he, I think he's scarfed the Iron Head. I have no proof, but I will try. If he's not scarfed, then I've been misplaying this entire time. And I should have just gone into Mudsdale a while ago. Imagine if I Dragon Danced if he wasn't Scarf. He's kind of out of Crocolore answers also. So. He switches. I'm gonna get some HP back. And before this is an assault vest Corviknight. Nope. It ain't. Are we gonna bolt switch here? Cause he's probably gonna roost. Okay. So if he's Fire Terra, he can't be burned. There goes Corviknight. Um, he doesn't want me to slack off, which is interesting. Ah. Uh, I think we just go into Mudsdale. Because he can bring out Haxorus all he wants, I don't really care. I mean, this thing's a beast to get through. It's an absolute beast to get through. Plus, once I know which Iron Valiant it is, uh, I win. Wait, he switched out Haxorus, and I have Rocks up. 
And he's Fire Terra now, right? So he's going to take like 25% from rocks. This is a good battle. This is very interesting. It is aggressive. It is a very aggressive battle so far. Yeah, because he gets the switch initiative. Emiya. Break your sash, maybe? If you have one. We're going to determine if you're physical or special. I no longer care about your booster energy. Your speed tightened. Like I care. Um... Just Earthquake, because if it's special, I go for counter. I'm an idiot, so just go for Earthquake. Yeah, Calm Mind. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Big damage. I think even at plus one, you can't break through a Mudsdale. So I'm going to Earthquake again. All your Pokemon are heckin' low. Aura Sphere? Ate that! Ate that! Give me that stamina boost, baby! Cool. That's all you have to do to be Iron Valiant. Just bring a big dumb horse. Not dumb horse. Go cool horse. Smart, intelligent horse, phd horse. Graduate school. How much damage do you take from rocks here? Do you die to rocks? Real close. He's breaking the mold. Alright, I think that's GG's. Aqua Tail! The cr crit mattered. He ignored my defense buff. It wasn't stab. You, you all saw it. Alright, well we're gonna let... No, we'll let Belly Bolt get the kill. I don't want him getting another point. If his Aqua Tail crits me again for whatever reason and it kills me through the rocks, then I don't want him getting another point. Alright, just Parabolic. Earthquake. Alright, boys. That is going to do it for our Week 8 battle. We bring it home 2-0 yet again. Uh, next week is our Week 9 battle uh, against East. And then we are heading into playoffs. GG's to my good friend Jack. Uh, an awesome battle. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see who we have to play in playoffs. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.